Good morning guys, back by popular demand. Well, a couple of you anyway have asked to see the underside of the Traversa. So, by doing this hands free, it's going to be wobblier, but uh, at least we're going to be able to get the camera around and show you easier what is there. So, I'll take you onto the Traversa, which is quite simple. I have already disconnected the runners from the other half so that I can tip it up and show you all there is. So you have this half of the runner here which is screwed on obviously to the board and the other half of the runner is screwed on to the cross beams of, or joists whatever you want to call them. Um, the traverser itself the whole frame is literally just a rectangle of wood with the four legs bolted on with coach bolts one in each corner and a bit of support at the bottom and cross rail down there um, I have a box on the end here I've just panelled in the section just look underneath there just so that we have a firm board for bringing the track out to the edge of the traverser so this will be rigid it won't ever move um, it's in relation stays on the same board as this so if you disconnect these two boards here it's not going to affect any height or anything else in relation to the traverser which is to be as close to this level as possible so like I say I've got to build and fit the aluminium angle along here just to support this edge um, it's just a design thing uh, obviously as was pointed out, if I had fitted these the other way up on the side, um, then I wouldn't have had the droop issue. But what I would have done is had to mount on this board a block for the um, runner to fit on the side of, which would have mean the front panel here I would have had to cut out further and it would have been weaker on the front. So although I've got a droop and got to put a support in on the front, I'm happier. I'm happy with how it's I've done it um, and uh, yeah and on top of the things here uh, the runners I bought I didn't notice had soft closure devices on them um, luckily for me I don't go far enough um, that they come into use um, by operating this little lever there you see they normally sit down and that would then locate onto there, clip on using this piece here, locates in this little trigger here and it closes. But what that would mean is although it's nicely closing up at the far end I've got to give it a yank to release them and especially as there's four it's quite a bit so what I've done is I've released all four and they all sit at the top and uh, I don't actually use that part of the mechanism. So that's what I have done. I hope that explains everything further. And again, any questions? Just ask. Catch you later.